Hey everyone, I am back uh, with, sorry, with Three Sisters, and um, this time I'm going to play with the uh, Weather Expansion, uh, which is a limited expansion. Um, I don't know what I'll do with this. Maybe I'll put this right up here, but it is a uh, limited expansion for the game. Um, it is... It just adds randomness because the there's a couple good things. There's no effect. There. Well, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at it. Um, it is. Sorry, all going on here. Um, it is no effect. If you roll, one, if you have a one, it's not what you roll. It's the last remaining die, and in solo, you just take the highest remaining die. So no effect. Lightning may not use water action this round. Cold may not use the apiary this round. Cloudy start of round take one perennial action, which is good. Um, hot plus one good when harvesting fruit, and windy when planting one of the seeds must be planted in an adjacent field. So I have to remember to do this as well as everything else I'm doing. But we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, switch over here, and yeah. Feel free to ask questions, or if you see something later on, you're watching this later, and you have questions, <clears throat> uh, feel free to comment. So, put one three and three threes here, and then Edith moves over here. So, if you didn't watch before, or if you haven't seen what's going on with this game, basically we are, um, and I'm going to flip this to the other side because I prefer it on this side, but um, we are growing our garden plots, and then we have perennials down here, and we have an apiary, and we have fruit, and we have a shed, and we have goods that we take to the farmer's market, and compost over here. So basically, this is the central part of the game. And then over here, we'll get to do other things. So this is actually for multiplayer. Um, but I rolled, I set that where the Edith marker was at, and then I put the next ones here. So I go first on these turns and then Edith goes A and B, A, B like that. And then we flip it on even rounds and that that's the basics of it. But uh, yeah, feel free to ask questions. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, so no matter what, she's going to be going to three. So I better do that. So I'm going to go to three and get my pumpkins going over there. And whatever the decisions I make, I'm going to have to stick to because this is a wet erase marker and I don't have anything wet to wipe my board down. So I'm just going to have to stick with it and hopefully not make any mistakes. So I picked a three. And that's plant or water. And then I can uh, I could water those or I could plant more. I'm going to plant more this time. I'm going to focus on planting as many things as I possibly can. And we'll see what Edith does. Edith is going to go to the apiary because she likes going to the one with the gold uh, pushpin. So she goes up here and she's going to uh, first uh, mark off my tallest pumpkin in my garden one. That happens a lot, I have found. Um, but then she goes to the apiary and she's going to uh, mark off my eight points honey at the top of the split high or not split high but the top of the hive there and then we go to three again and um i could water or i could plant but like i said i'm gonna try something different this time and just do a lot of planting so i'm gonna mark off both of these um corns and then i get to now i get to water so i'm gonna water once here on this pumpkin and once here on this pumpkin and that gives me one good because that pumpkin is done growing. And then Edith is going to also take a three. Um, this time she will mark off um, this corn. And that's not the worst thing in the world yet because I, I could grow the corn a little bit more and then start the bean next to it. So there's all that. Um, but with that, because that was in plant or water, she's going to do it again. And she will go here. Actually, she can't do it where it's already planted. That's that's right. Everything is uh, planted. So I don't even have to worry about that. That's good. So excuse my... Uh, I, I <laughs> excuse my overstate. So she didn't mark anything off because they're all plant... Except she can mark off corn. Okay, fine. She's going to mark off two corn. That's what she's going to mark off because those... 
Uh, beans, not corn. The short ones are beans, the little ones. Okay, so she's going to mark off two beans, and then um, that is everything, except now because we're using the water and the, uh, not the water, sorry, the uh, weather, uh, the last die that was taken was a three, so it's cold. Next round, we can't use the, the apiary. Okay, so the apiary can't be used next round. And um, our bonus thing at the end of the round is taking a shed action. And the thing that I missed out on last time because she marked it off was my additional goods for Blackberry. So I'm going to get that right. I think that's what it was. Anyways, I'm going to get that right now. And then I, I will do fancy labels next, I think, in my shed. But for now, one additional good per Blackberry harvest. And then we go to round two. And Edith is going to be first. And there we get two threes, a four, and a five. And uh, Edith wants to take the one closest to the, uh, to the pushpin apiary, so she's going to take a three, and which means she's going to come back over here um, first and mark off another. I'm basically not growing any beans in number three. Which, okay, fine. Um, and then because of that, she's going to go to the shed, and she will mark off my shovel. She's going to get rid of my shovel. She's going to borrow it. She's not getting rid of it. She's borrowing my shovel, and I don't have it available anymore to me. So now I have to make a decision. I think what I want to do is go to four. Uh, I will plant my pumpkins in four. I will get this one and get a good right away. And I will get this one. And hopefully I can get this daffodil before uh, Edith messes with it. So that is that. And I get uh, one compost and four goods because that's what I picked. Two, three, four. Four, and I get my first bonus. And with that bonus, I'm going to start working on my fancy labels. Like I said. And then Edith is going to... I don't usually pick in this order. I picked in a different order. So um, uh, the one closest... I believe i got to make sure I do this right. Because I don't usually pick in that way. Um, trying something different. Uh, she always takes the... Blah, 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 Chooses a die from the apiary of fruit space with the golden pushpin. Next available die, clockwork. Okay, I was doing it right. She is going to take the one from the shed, which is a three. Um, and with the three, that was a shovel. She can't do anything. And she's going to mark off my last available bean over here. Not the worst thing in the world. I think, I think that was okay because I have corn available. I have all my pumpkins up there. I'm good with that. And then... Um, Edith, you already have the shovel, so sorry. See ya. And then five, so uh, we're going to put this up here as a reminder, but five, I get to go to um, garden area five, or I could go, you know what? I'm going to go to garden area six using a compost. I'm going to plant here and here, and then that was, uh, I can do apiary or fruit, but I can't do the apiary this time because the weather has said that it's too cold to mess with my bees, so I'm going to do a fruit, and I'm going to do raspberry, and then get one, two, and three raspberries, uh, goods from the raspberry, and that means that next round it's going to be hot, and we get plus one good when we harvest fruit. So that'll be cool if we can harvest some fruit. And the end of the round effect is it's going to rain. So it's going to rain. Uh, we'll just go around. But the only place that we have stuff right now is this way. So one, two, three, four. And we just finished something. We finished another pumpkin. So we'll get two goods. One, two. And I will remember that for a second because what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hmm think what I will do is I'll just do another raspberry and one, two, and three more goods. Okay, that area is almost done, but we have a hyacinth now. 
So that Hyacinth is down here, which gives us an additional two goods. So one, two, and then that gives us another bonus. So I will put that right here and on raspberries again and get one, two, three. Um, not a bonus quite yet again with that one, but that was cool. And then we go down here and we water, or sorry, not water, rain. This is rain, so that's why it's going everywhere. It's just the two plants. Uh, this pumpkin, that one's already done. And go over here to area six, and this one, and this one. And that's all we get with the rain. But I, I don't think that was bad. I think that was pretty good because we got some bonuses. All right, it's back to me for the beginning of round three. Um, so far, this isn't being as terrible to me as the first time I used it. Um, but the weather, I guess that's the thing. The weather can be uh, persnickety, finicky, right? All right, so that happens, and this goes up here. And so remember, our bonus from the weather is... An additional good when harvesting fruit. So if I can harvest any fruit, that would be good. Because um, we are going to have a, a farmer's market at the end of this round too. And if we have 20 or more goods, then we get a perennial and a fruit. And then that gives us another good. And it just is combo-tastic. Um, okay, so we could go to shed time. And that would allow me to do this. And Edith would end up, hmm, or I could go to the farmer's market now, and I would get a compost and a perennial. Um, but that doesn't really help me here. I'd have to use a compost to make it more interesting. I guess I could do that, or let's see. If I do shed time, I could work on my fancy labels and plant up here. And not have to waste a compost right now. I think, because if I do that, otherwise she, what's, what's she going to get rid of? She's going to get rid of my my hive tool. Um, you know what? Going to the farmer's market is always great. So I'm going to take the three. And I'm going to change that with a compost to a, I'm going to change it to a uh, two change it to a four but I think I'm going to change it to a two. All right so then I'm going to plant if I had one more I would change it to a one and then plant both of those pumpkins which I really like but I can't do that right now. Um, you know what that is you know what that's what I'm going to do. I am I, I would really like to take the farmer's market but I think this might be more important at the moment. I'm going to still use the compost that I marked off plant this pumpkin plant this pumpkin get a good get an extra um bonus so i get some raspberries which gives me four goods so one two three four uh, and that four is because the weather's great right now so four goods and then um that was in shed time so i'm going to continue working on my fancy labels hopefully i can fill that in before i go to the farmer's market at the end of the round and then i can get an additional perennial, which that is pretty important to be able to do. Okay, so Edith is going to take my three, and she's going to go up to um, garden area three. She can't mark anything else off there, so that's great. But she is on the farmer's market action, going to mark off my top iris, which is a bummer because that is 12 points, but... It's kind of hard to get sometimes too, so that's not the worst thing in the world. I'm, I'm not completely out with that one, and we limited what she could do in our garden. We really want to limit that, so coffee time just for a second. I, and on that note, uh, tomorrow morning I will be playing at 10 a.m. Um, probably, probably USS Laffy, uh, another roll and write, that one from Mike Heim and... Um, that's probably what I'll be playing. That was a little bit more in depth, though. I wasn't ready for it today yet. So, coffee and games tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. I will be playing that. Okay, back to things at hand. I have a choice to make, and then, okay, so how can I get another? Well, that's easy. I could, 
plant, or I can, okay, so if I take four, I get this pumpkin, or five, I get this pumpkin, and I can plant somewhere else to it. If I take four, uh, what do I really, do I really want the crocus and the daffodil, or do I want the hydrangea? Either way, she's going to get rid of something. I, and that's annoying. Um, I think I'm going to take four. That's it, so that the weather stays where it's at. I like that, the weather being there. So, um, all right, so I'm going to take the four, which means that I will plant an area four here and here. And then uh, I can do an apiary or fruit action. I'm going to do a fruit action because that's giving me extra bonuses right now. So I'm going to do raspberries. So one, two, three, four, which gives me another bonus, which I will use uh, to fill out uh, another raspberry, which gives me one, two, three, and four which gives me another bonus, and I will use that one for the fancy labels uh, before I forget to do that. So, did that, and then I did a fruit, and so now it is Edith's turn, and Edith is going to take this five, and she's going to meddle, because she's going to mark out my pumpkin here. She's She messed with my pump, pumpkin, and it's not growing properly now. And then she's also going to mark uh, go again, because this is a, a plant or water, and she is marking off a um, corn. So that is what Edith did. But now I get my farmer's market at the end of the round. And I am above 30. Edith hasn't messed with my goods at all yet. And I'm not to 35 though yet. Because that would be up here. But I am above 20. So I get uh, two perennials. And that's because I have my fancy labels. So I will do a... Let's see, I will do another hyacinth. And I will do a daffodil. That gives me two goods. One, two. And then I can use a bonus, and I will use that bonus to get raspberries again. And then one, two, three, four. And then I have a shed action. And I will use that to go up and start my, uh, let's see here. I, I think I will start my pie safe. Yep, I'll start the pie safe. And then I get one more fruit. So I could get another bonus and finish that pie safe. Or I could, um, you know what? I, I have my mason jar so I can get, one good that I need, I'm with a blackberry, so I'm going to do that right now. Get a good that I need, and that gives me a bonus again, which lets me finish off my pie safe. So I need to start working on my apples and peaches and that sort of thing. I haven't even touched my apiary yet with my bees. That's okay. Um, we have things that will happen. That was a good farmer's market for early in the game. And then we go to round four, and Edith is going to get to go first. So one... Two, three, four is what we got. One, two, three, four. And I didn't have to move the weather because um, the highest die left was a five again. So, all right. So Edith is going to take this one and try to mark off my mason jar. She can't. I already did them. So that's good. And she's going to go to one and mark off a corn. All right, um, and then I will get the two. I don't have any compost, unfortunately. Well, I get compost, and so I'll get my compost. Um, that's fine. I'll, I'll plant this pumpkin and a corn, and then uh, I got my compost already, and I get four goods, one, two, three, and four. And then Edith is going to take this three on shed time and borrow my pitchfork now which gives me when hydron hydrangeas get an additional compost okay so that's gone and so the last one is going to be it's going to be going to 
Uh, cloudy, start of round, take one for it. Wow, cool. Cloudy, start of round, take a perennial action. And then I get the uh, farmer's market and area four. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to plant a lot. So I'm going to plant here and here. Oops. That's the same one. Sorry. Uh, uh, here. I was trying not to, uh, let's see, and here, okay, here and there, okay. And then I get a farmer's market action, and with the farmer's market action, I can, I can do some things. So, uh, farmer's market, I have, I have more than 35 now, and I get three perennials because my, fancy labels three perennials and a fruit and I'm gonna take the tulip and mark off a peach and then a peach with my fruit that I had um, so I have two perennials left um, so I could and that gives me a good, which gives me a bonus. Bonus and two perennials left. So I have a bonus that I am going to put into, uh, I think I'm gonna put that into peaches again. Uh, and I have to take a watering action. So I should probably do that now. So I have, um, a bonus and two um, yeah, yeah two perennials bonus and two perennials I have to use um, bonus and two perennials so but I have to water everything too um, bonus two perennials where should I go um, I think I will take Well, that gave me a fruit. I had a fruit. I had a fruit. That gave me a fruit. That's the water. That gave me the bonus. I put that back up here. Okay. So I used my bonus. I have two perennials to do. I will do a hyacinth twice. And that gives me two more goods. And then I have to water everything. Okay, so now I go here, and here, and here. And this is where I use this for, just to keep track of where I'm at. And here, and here, and here, and here. And down here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And nothing over here. And then over here, here, and then I get two more goods. And I thought it, oh, did I mark off the one? Uh, not, see, this is why I, I should be writing in pencil instead of when, when I'm talking and do this, I always turn off. I, I should have gotten one. Um, no, no, that's the next time. Um, oh, and I should have taken one perennial action. So we'll just say it was uh, the hydrangea because that won't mess with anything that I did this round. Um, okay. Even though what it probably would have been would have been a, as high as synth. Okay, that all happens. Um, then, okay, that's all done, and then and then it's gonna rain because it's the end of the round. We're not yet to round five. We're, it's about to rain, so we're gonna rain. Okay. And with the rain, oh, I just made it rain because this is water and this is not rain. So then I, I can pick two to water. Uh, so I will just pick this one and this one because that will give me six goods and a daffodil. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Um, that gives me a bonus, which I will use on peaches to water again. And I will go... Uh, where will I go? I will go somewhere. I will go somewhere with my watering. Somewhere that will give me another bonus. Oh, and I get an iris too. Um, plus one compost. And... Okay, that's done. That's done. That's done. Here's a crocus. I didn't catch it. Plus two compost. That one's done. And... Where could I water that is useful? Uh, if I got another hydrangea, that would get me going on the hydrangea, but nothing super useful other than that. So, um, daffodil? No, no, I don't. I don't. I don't know where I should go with my, my watering. Um, I guess I will go and get another hydrangea by... But there's not two things. I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to water here. Here and here. And that's finally the end of the round. Okay, this is the problem when I talk and I'm getting all these bonuses. I lose track of where I'm at. Okay. Yeah. Now, okay. And one... Three, four, and six. And I get to go first. We're going to get a farmer's market at the end of this round, which is going to make it even uh, more crazy. And I get, uh, it was a four again here for uh, getting a perennial action. So I will get the one that is two goods per peach harvested because I have two peaches. So I will go one, two, three, four. That is done. I, that's how I should keep track that I've done it. Um, and I could take this one and plant. That'd be okay. Where else do I have? I have a lot of my pumpkins planted. Or Edith has messed with my garden. Either way, it's... Eh, so I could plant in three, or I could change that to a two. You know what? I'm going to change that to a two. And uh, plant and water. So I'm going to use a compost. Um... I'm going to plant and water with that. I have to mark off the compost. And I will go to two and I will get three goods and finish this corn off. So that is also an iris. And I get to plant and water on zone. Plant. Um, but I get three goods. So one, two, and three. And I will use that to get... Uh, raspberries, which will give me another bonus. One, two, and three. And I'm going to finally, finally start my uh, apiary that I haven't even messed with yet. And then I get a uh, I get to I get to plant or water in one zone. Oh no, that's a plus or minus. Uh, yep, that's the plus or minus one zone. Um, So I can change it with that instead of with, um, but I'm just going to play it. So I'm, I, I don't even know how to use that one very well, that, that second part of the Irish. I'm sure you could use it better, but okay. So Edith is going to take the one here and Edith is going to go and uh, go mark off another corn. And then it's on the apiary, so she's going to mark off um, let's see, what does she want to mark off? She wants to mark off my next highest honey, which is not a big deal right now because she already marked off my eight. So because she's already done that, that's that. Okay, so if we have a six, when planting one of the seeds must be planted in an adjacent field. Um, if, if the weather goes that way. And I really don't want her to mess with my stuff, but uh, fruit bowl, it would be annoying to lose. Because that's a lot of points. Um, that is a lot of points if she gets rid of that. And so I'm going to, oh, but also she'll mess with me down here. And I'm at, what am I at? I'm almost at 70. 
good. So, you know what? I'm gonna leave that. She can she can take mess with my compost and my my stuff this time. I'm gonna take the four because I don't want her to mess with my fruit bowl. So I'm gonna take shed time and I'm gonna start on the fruit bowl. And start that. And then I go to four and I will plant. Let's see here. I will plant uh, this bean and this bean, and Edith can't mess with them anymore. And then Edith will take the six, and with the six, she uh, will mark off my next bonus. So we'll put an E right there. It's not available. And she will go to zone six, and she will mark off a corn, because I already planted my pumpkins. So... That's what Edith did, but now we get a farmer's market, and I'm not quite to 70, but I still get three perennials and a bonus over here. Um, so I will do my three perennials first. I'm going to go one, two tulips, which gives me six goods. Uh, and then my next one, I'll take a shed action and work on the fruit bowl again. And so that's three of those. And then I get six goods and a bonus on this sheet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't get that bonus because Edith messed with it. But I think I will use that bonus on my apiary and use it to get uh, my last raspberry and go one, two, and three, and because I did that, I get another bonus, which I can use uh, to continue to work on my apiary. And that was a decent farmer's market. Uh, not the best one I've had, but not bad. And then we go to the shed. And so because... Uh, the six is what was left. We go over here to Wendy, and it says, when planting, one of the seeds must be planted in an adjacent field. Let me see what that means. Uh, in a zone adjacent to the indicator. Okay, so Edith is going to go first this time, and we're almost done with the game again. It's just such a solid little game. Um, okay, so one, four, five, six... Uh, my preference is without the weather, but that's that. Okay, so this is where we're at. Wendy, when planting one of the seeds. Okay, so Edith is going to take the one, and she's going to mess over here with my corn again and ruin it. It's root. There's my uh, corn, and with that, then she's going to mess with my fruit, and what fruit is she going to mess with? My apples. She's going to pick my last apple on that tree there and eat it. And then it's my turn. Uh, Edith can take my trimmer. I don't care about my trimmer, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not gonna get my string trimmer time. So I'm gonna take the farmer's market action uh, and the five. And with the five, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna plant. I'm gonna turn it into a six. I'm going to plant here and here, and that way I can get some stuff going over there in time. But more importantly, it's Farmer's Market, and I have um, three perennials and a bonus over here. So I have three perennials. I will go, I will go, so let's see, how many fruit do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 fruit could do that. That would give me 12 points. That's a good thing. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock that one in. Tulips are done. One, two. And then I'm going to take a shed action and get the fruit bowl bonus also. So uh, because I have harvested... Oh, no. I need to harvest uh, the apples. Once I do, I will get 10 points for harvesting one of each type of fruit. Okay. So that was my perennials. Now I have a bonus. And with that bonus... Um, we're just going to go ahead and get two fruit, and I'm going to get, uh, let's see here. I'm going to get 
two peaches, one, two. I know I need to get more, one more apple, but that's okay. I'm gonna water, so I'm gonna water here, and that gives me a hydrangea. Okay, let's get the hydrangea, and that's there. Okay, nothing great out of that, but I do get two goods. One, two, all right, and then on to zone. Uh, oh, that's a water, not a rain. So that's all that happens. Yep, I'm just gonna have to live with that mistake. Um, it's fine. So, but I have three peaches now. I don't think that makes any difference anywhere. Uh, but that's okay. I probably should have taken it down here. Yeah, I probably should have taken it. I should have taken it down here. I'm gonna do that because that would. Uh, the only thing I would have had to change is not getting a hydrangea, which who cares right now. Uh, and okay, and then I get one more good because if I take it down here, I can water here and here, and that gives me a hyacinth instead. Gets me closer to the ten points there. Okay, much better, much better choice, much better choice. Um, and then Edith is going to take the four and borrow my trimmer. And where's my trimmer? Six point trimmer there. Okay, she's borrowing my trimmer, and then she goes to zone four, and she marks off the tallest unplanted thing, which is some beans. All right, Edith. I don't know why I have to eat my beans. And then it's back to my turn. It's a six, and I can do apiary or fruit, as well as my six. I, I should do my six first. So I'm gonna do a. Um, I'm gonna do a. Uh, a water and a water. That's what I'm going to do. Water, water. Okay, and apiary or fruit. Maybe I should just get that apple done so I don't have to worry about it. I mean, there's. I should be able to finish it somehow. So I'm going to... I'm going to take um, the next... Is there anything else that would give me a bonus? I guess I will I'm gonna take the black berries and that gives me one good doesn't quite get me into a bonus but I'll be there soon okay and then a shed action I guess I will take I will mulch because I can take a perennial action instead of the rondel and that'll help me finish up here if, if I somehow need to do that instead. Okay, cool. So that was round six and that was a six. So this stays in the same place. Wendy, um, and I didn't plant, I just watered, right? Or did I do that wrong? I watered. Yep, I watered. Okay, cool. Did that right. When we are on to round seven. And what's gonna happen now? Four, five, five, six. Four, five, five, six. Four, five, five, and six. All right. Um, this is a plant or water action for number four. And if I go here, I could, I could, uh, so I did get this one. Let's mark that off. I could, see plant or water I'm going to I'm gonna plant some something somewhere oh I should have gotten tulip so I didn't need to use that over there oh well that's my fault so I won't get any bonus from that but uh, plant or water and four or Edith Edith can't mess with that so maybe I should just spin the compost and go to five and maybe pull off getting some more stuff over there. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend the compost and go to five and I'm going to plant uh, once, but then I have to put the next one in an adjacent one. So I'm going to plant a bean over here and that's because of the weather. Again. All right. So that happened. And then shed time, uh, Edith is going to mark off my rain barrel, which is, where is my rain barrel? Um, let's see here. After rain water is on. Right there, there's my rain barrel. Okay. And then she's gonna go to the zone five and she's gonna mark off another uh, thing of corn. 
And then I have a five or a six. I think I'm going to take the six so that I can um, also force it into plus one good when harvesting fruit. But I'm going to take the six, which is one compost and four goods. One, two, three, and four. And that gives me another bonus, which I'm going to take for the... Um, hmm. I'm going to take it for the... the apple to make sure I get that because that's a 13 point swing right there. So, all right, um, took it for the apple and then I can water or plant. If I plant, I'm gonna have to plant in a one next to me, which wouldn't be the worst thing. So I'm gonna plant here and then here. I don't think I have enough time to grow all that, but why not? Okay, so that's that, and then she's going to take five. She can't mark off my rain barrel again, but she will go to five and find a corn to mark off. And the highest was a five, so we're going to move the weather over here. Um, hot plus one when harvesting fruit. And now we, I get a farmer's market, so I get another three perennials and another bonus uh, anywhere. So I will take the bonus first, put it here on my apiary and three perennials. I will lock in this 10 with one and then uh, let's see here. Go up twice on the hydrangeas, I guess one, Two and we get a blackberry, which is two points, which gives me another good. And that is it for that one. Okay, this is definitely a different approach than I've taken before. So um, we are on to the last round. Two, three, three, six. Two, three, three, six. Two, three, three, and six. All right, so Edith is going to take the apiary fruit action and mark off another apple. All right, Edith, I guess you like eating apples or you're making an apple pie or something. And then she's going to go to two. And at two, she's going to mark off a corn. Okay. And with three, I could water. I'm going to get a three either way. So I'm going to take the six and go to the farmer's market. That's what I want to do first. Um, and I can also water here. So I will water or plant, but I, I want to water. So I'm going to water one and two and just lock in that one. These ones, will, it, it's going to rain at the end of the day. So six, and then I take my farmer's market action to get um, three perennials. So I will go raspberry, peach, and finish off the hydrangea. One, two, three, and then I get my raspberry. Nope, those are done. I always forget about the, I always forget about the bonus over here from the raspberry. Oh, well. Um, but a peach, and then nothing else. Uh, but I do get a bonus somewhere. So I'm going to take it and do the peach and water, and I get to water somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and finally, finally, finally. Um, I could have done that in a different order. So that gives me one more uh, perennial. I'm going to do that in a different order so I get a shed action. So do this. That gives me hydrangea, that's done. And then that gives me the shed action. Okay, so a different order. And then this, which gives me a bonus because that gave me two uh, goods up there. So with that bonus, I'm gonna start the left side of my apiary and get two more goods. And I mean, I could straight up take the points. That might be the better choice at this point. That is definitely the better choice at this point. So I'm going to take the the. Um, it's the problem with using a wet brace. Uh, yep. Okay. 
Wow, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, okay, and that was from watering and bonus. Okay, that's all done. And now Edith is going to take a three. She's going to go to zone three. There's nothing left for her to mark off, so she can't do anything with that there. But in my shed, she is going to take my pitchfork and borrow that. Um, but she already borrowed it. Edith, you already have the pitchfork. And then uh, with the three, I could... Change it to a five with my compost and water. No, a four. Oh, okay. So I have one compost left. I'm going to change it to a four and water here and here. And then it's going to rain. Finally, rain at the end of the day. And we're going to go around again. Uh, nothing here because those are all done. Uh, here, but it won't make a difference. One, two. Here, it does make a difference. There, and there, and there, and there, and then here, and makes a difference there, and there, and there, and there, not there. And then here, doesn't make a difference. Poor neglected side of the garden. And then here, and it makes a difference there, and there, and there. Okay, and now we're at the end of the game and we get to see whether all this planting that we did a little bit differently made any difference. So first up is the garden plots. In section one, I have nothing, so no points there. In section two, I have uh, three points. Uh, yep, three points there. Okay, in section three, I have three uh, six, nine, and twelve. Okay, that's not bad. And section four, I have three, six, seven, eight. And section five, I didn't manage to finish anything. Okay, that's a null. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in section six, I have three, six, seven, eight. All right, so totals for garden are 3, 15, 23, uh, 31. That's not bad. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's not bad at all. And then in section two for perennials, I was able to get uh, the hydrangea, which is seven, and the iris was marked off, so I couldn't get that. The hyacinth, I got 10. Didn't quite get the four on the daffodil, um, but then... Um, how many fruit did I pick? That's how many points I'm going to get for my uh, tulips. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It maxes out at fifteen, so fifteen there. So twenty-two, thirty-two points for perennials. Uh, my apiary, I ended up getting five points. It's lower than sometimes. And then fruit in general, I get. Uh, three plus uh, six is uh, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen for the fruit. And in my shed, I will get one point. Let's see here, one, three. I did get four different types of fruit, so I get ten there. I did get the fancy label, so that's two. And I totally forgot about my mulch, where I could have done perennials instead of the Rondale action. That's okay. Um, and I think I forgot about the weather this round, too. Oh, well. And then one more point. So 3 and 1, 14, 16, 17 points. 17 points for my shed, which puts us at 32 again for these two, 37. Uh, plus 31 and 32 is 100 exactly. 100 points. I am very pleased with that. I did a lot more planting. So planting over here, focusing on that first, really paid off. I think I probably missed a couple little points here and there that I just forgot about. But 100 points means I now have my own TV show. I am a master gardener, I guess, or something like that. Um, it's snowing outside again. That's what I was actually doing. But in the game, I'm a master gardener.
I had lots of pumpkins. It worked out well. Edith didn't get in the way too much. Thanks for watching, though. This has been Three Sisters by uh, Ben Pinchback and uh, Matt Riddle. A lot of fun. I really like this game. Um, if you watch later on, let me know if you have any questions. If I forgot something, if I missed something, which I probably did because I kept being distracted by the fact that I decided to stick with my wet erase marker instead of a dry erase. Anyway. Hope you're doing well. Catch you tomorrow if you join me for the USS Laffy. Let me grab that. Uh, Saturday, 10 a.m. for Copying Games. This will be uh, a bigger game. Bigger, longer. Probably kind of hard. Solitaire game. So, yep. More rolling right fun tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Happy gaming. Catch you later.